Chesterfield? It's Sounds like very a place. Big. I'm going to buy a Chesterfield in Chesterfield. It's very <laughs> Hi! Hi, I'm Christina from the USA. And I'm Sydney and I'm from Canada. Canadians say A a lot. It a. Yeah, it depends. Depends on, where? Yeah, it depends on the Canada. location, but yeah, yeah. Main, our stereotype is saying A. Yeah, that's that's what I know. And also like the A sound is a little bit different. Can be yeah. Can be, can be, depending on where, I'm sure. In the US, colored pencils. Pencil crayons. Pencil crayons? Yeah. I didn't know that. If we say crayon, it's just like a, a crayon. crayon. So but this pencil? is a pencil plus a crayon. Oh man, I didn't know that. That's the <laughs> first time I've heard, I've heard pencil crayon. Really? Like, yeah. I've never really heard color pencil. Wow. <laughs> so it's just a pencil crayon. Z. Z. Actually, other countries say Z too, yeah. right? Is it just us that say Z? I'm not sure. Yeah, like... I don't know anymore too because I always thought Z coming from the US, mm. but then I heard other countries, they yeah. say Z. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure if it's a British influence for mm. us. It might most likely is I just because it may be. the other places that you would hear English have been colonized by Britain, so. Right, right. In America, we would say bathroom. In Canada, we say washroom. Yeah, I've heard I've heard washroom, but typically, yeah, you'd be like, oh, I'll be right back. I'm going to the bathroom. In Canada, we because we have influence from the UK and from America, yeah. so we use all these terms interchangeably. So oh. I will say bathroom one day, or I'll say washroom another day, or I might even say restroom. Right, right. So okay. It really depends on who you're speaking to in Canada too. Someone who has more of a British influence will say more of like the British. Song. Yeah, so what do you use? I use these two most, like bathroom and washroom. But if I want to sound more refined, I'll go with restroom. Uh, in the US, we would say parking lot. Uh, in Canada, we say parkade. Par eh? Parkade. Parkade? Like a parking parade? <laughs> Potentially. Like this just makes more sense. Parkade, like here. Or a parking lot. Parking lot is just one. Yeah, parking lot is just one. one. And then parking, parkade. Parking garage. More than one. Oh, okay. I've never heard that before. Yeah. To me, like when I hear parkade, it's like a parking parade. It's mm -hmm. most likely again from the uh, UK. In the UK, they say they say Maybe. that as well. Maybe. So in the US, this would be uh, take a test. In Canada, we say we write a test. Write a test. Yeah, I'll write a test tomorrow. Oh, that's different. Yeah, I'm gonna take a test tomorrow. Never write. We, we say, say take. write or have. I have a test tomorrow. Oh yeah, we would say I have a test as well, mm -hmm. or I'm going to take a test. Cool, yeah. a little different. In the US, we would say sneakers. In Canada, we say runners. Runners. Yeah, yeah. Well, we say runners a lot. Sneakers is also because a huge influence right. in America. We will say sneakers, but yeah, mm. runners are definitely very common. Because you say. run in and the shoes. shoes, exactly. And you run in runners. Yeah. <laughs> This would be called soda in the U.S. And that's called pop in Canada. Ooh. It the, depends where you live in the U.S. too, yeah. because there are some uh, areas, some states, that they would say pop as well, mm -hmm. maybe closer to. And you. there's like also pop soda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. a combination. Pop soda, soda and pop. Yeah, yeah, it's used a little bit differently depending where you're from. Mm. But where I'm from, we would say soda. We would never, like, I've never heard yeah. anyone ever say pop. Yeah, in same the for East me. Coast. Same for me. It's I was pop. Never would we say soda. In the US, we would say napkin or paper napkin. Okay, in Canada, we'll say, we have two ways, we'll say it's either serviette or a napkin. So it also depends on the area as well in Canada. Some areas in Canada will specifically say serviette a lot more, while others will say napkin a lot more. Is that a French word? Uh, I think so. I think it's sounds like from, It yeah. sounds like a French word. Yeah, serviette, yeah. It's the East Coast, East side that says serviette a lot more, and then my, my side, the west side says more napkin. But if you heard serviette, I, then you oh, would know what it know. is. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I use serviette. I was gonna say, can I have a serviette? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, have a serviette, please. So in the US, we would call this uh, cigarette or like cigs, ciggies. Yeah. Okay, yeah, same. Like for us, we'll say smokes or cigarettes. So some of the younger generations might even say ciggies as well. Like, yeah, like yeah. Like I said, like as a slang. Mm. Yeah, definitely smokes and cigarettes are the common phrases. Yeah. I've heard, I've heard some people say smokes in the US as well sometimes, but yeah, it depends on the person yeah. too. Yeah, and what influences they've had. Yeah, yeah. Media. There's so many different ways to call it. 
So in the US, we would call this a fire station. Uh, we call it in Canada a fire hall or a fire station. Oh, fire hall. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. That's Maybe because it's like it's a big building. Yeah. Like that's oh. like a big place. So it's, it's like a similar, hall. Right? Similar to like a hall mm -hmm. building. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I've always heard like fire hall or fire station. Okay, in the US, we would say one kilometer. In Canada, we say one kilometer. It will say oh. like a click. A click? Yeah. Really? A click, yeah. Or a kilometer. Well, yeah. Like, again, we use both. Click doesn't come to mind right away, but yeah, we do say it. Oh. Especially in... I know a lot of my friends in central Canada um, will say... Because it's the prairies, so it's much flatter. And there are lots, a lot of driving to be done there. So people will say click a lot. Like, oh, it's a couple clicks away. Interesting. Because click, when I think of click, I just think like, you know, click get the mouse. Mm. Like, click, click. So like one click is like one kilometer. That one location. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is the first time I'm hearing that. Too. Yeah. Oh, well, I haven't heard that for a while. <laughs> in the US, we would call this a sofa. In Canada, we'll say a couch, or even sometimes people will say a Chesterfield. In Chesterfield? Chesterfield is more British. It's a, really? It's definitely more British, but we'll say a uh, couch or Chesterfield. Oh, yeah, the US would be sofa or couch. Mm -mm -mm. Couch, it really depends. I think it's 50 50. I think it's all three for us. But Chesterfield? Yeah. That's like, sounds it's like very a place. British. It's very pretty. <laughs> I'm going to very British. Chesterfield and then we'll have couch and then we'll have sofa. I'm going to buy a Chesterfield and Chesterfield. <laughs> but also like sometimes our connotation of like a Chesterfield can be sort of different too compared to a couch. Okay. That really sounds like it a does, town name. It could be, yeah. I think maybe they maybe really someone from town. Chesterfield made the Chesterfield. Exactly. That's and where so it came from. The, the Chesterfields. Chesterfield. So in the US, we're having fried chicken for dinner, right? In Canada, we would say we're having fried chicken for dinner, eh? Hey. Or we could say right as well. So oh, it also okay. depends on, like if you're more city, you might say right or hey. Oh, okay. It depends on like, I've heard right, hey, and a. Oh. In central Canada as well, it's mainly like hey or a or a. Hey or a. Yeah. We're having fried chicken for dinner, hey? Oh. I've heard it. It's a very like, kind of like stereotypical yeah. thing that Canadians say. A. If I see some like YouTube videos, people making kind of fun of it, then I hear yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, I hear I hear a lot of like the A. Yeah, I say A a lot. Yeah, and I've met some Canadians. I even write it all the oh, time. Oh yeah, especially it's just the perfect. It's an emphasizer as well. Exactly, a is an emphasizer, and it's also a tag question. And so that was so cool, eh? Yeah, yeah. Type thing. So it's um, type thing. So we use it as just like an emphasizer yeah. as well. And so I'll type it and it's really hard for me not to use A in those situations, and especially for teaching. As oh, I'm like, that's... that was so cool. A, 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 A. Right? <laughs> right. No, you can say A. You know, if, yeah. I, if I was around more Canadians, mm. I feel like I would pick up and I would say A a lot too. My one Finnish friend, he started picking up A and he was like, it's you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think for me it was a color pencil. For me, it would be the the, the sofa Chesterfield. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was just like what? I've really never heard about that. You know, like the pencil crayon was a little different, but I can understand why. But like Chesterfield. There's also <laughs> I don't know if you have it on here, but um, in Canada we have. Um, especially in the one area. So what do you call, it goes over your head and it has a hood. Ah, uh, like a hoodie? We call it a bunny hug. <gasps> bunny hug, that's so cute, what? Yeah. It's strictly, um, it's from, it was coined in Saskatchewan. It's the middle, uh, it's the third province in Canada. Uh -huh. Like really central Canada. Okay. And they, they came up with that word, no bunny way. hug. So you'll hear bunny hug instead of hoodie. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I haven't heard that before. Yeah. That's super cute. That so that's a really Canadian word. Okay, so today we learned some different words with the US and Canada. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Bye.